Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay. So grab a brush, grab some models, and grab some paints and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. Adam, once again, I need to point out you missed a spot and shout out to Cody Roo. In this week's episode, I'm gonna be working on some acolytes. I finished 50 neophytes so far and they look really cool. And now I'm working on a squad of 20 acolytes for my gene stealer cult army, as well as two acolyte I uh, uh, icon wards. So the the HQ acolytes. Um, they're coming along pretty well. They're in certain different stages of completeness because one squad I've, I, I test painted uh, last summer, they're almost done. And then I'm gonna be working on the rest of them too, one color at a time today. I'm gonna work on the leather areas and the silver areas and get as much done as I can over the next you know 45 minutes to the hour. Let's see how long it lasts. I am in my workshop at night. So I'll see how long I, I can last for, for energy wise and my back. But that's uh, it's okay. So let's get started. Let's talk about the new edition and uh, in life in general. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, welcome back. <coughs> Sorry, it's in my throat. Welcome back to another painting with Jay. As we said, we're gonna paint some uh, acolytes today. I'm working on them. I've gotten pretty far. The average one is in this state right now. So I still need to paint. I need to finish up the leather areas today. I'm now in the areas that uh, that I'm not painting with um, with contrast paints. So I'm gonna be painting leather, silver, and brass onto these guys, and that'll finish them up pretty easily. So today I'm going to work on the leather, finish up the base coat, and then uh, paint the uh, silver. And that'll probably take me up the rest of the video. So I'm gonna start by thinning down some uh, brown. And uh, we're going to talk about stuff today. It's a good way to finish up the month. So we're going to start with some more Fang Brown, which is my favorite color for leather. And I'll paint the leather. And then I'm going to go and uh, paint the uh, silvers. So grab my brush, grab some paints, grab some models. Just gotta figure out where I was in my paint. There we go. I believe it was him. He's all done. Good. Look at him. Next one. So, and I decided to paint along with the acolytes, the uh, acolyte icon wards, which are HQs. So after this week, I'll have um, and I missed a spot like Adam right there. So it's okay. Um, after this week, I should have these guys finished as well. So I'll have after one month. So this is my first month painting. Gene Steeler Cult. As you can see in the background, the 50 um, neophytes are done. So I'm gonna have 70 troop models painted up and based. And I'll have two HQs already. Now the thing is with Gene Steeler Cult, which they might change in the future, who knows, is that in the current codex, you can't have more than one of a single character of any character in a detachment. So right now I wouldn't have enough troop, I wouldn't have enough HQs really to run a decent army because I need, uh, you can't run both these HQs in the same detachment, which is okay. I'm going to be working on uh, more HQs in the near future. Uh, yeah. After this, my goal for next week, so next week's painting with Jay, I will be assembling and painting up 10 Brood Brothers and a heavy heavy weapons team, I guess, of Brood Brothers and getting them all done because then I can finish up all my troops, right? So five weeks in to my new army, I'll have 80 troop choice models and two HQs painted up. Good way to start. And then after that, I don't know what I'm gonna paint. Probably more HQs, get them assembled and painted as fast as I can. As I said, my soft goal for this army is going to be um, end of, of August, which it doesn't look like I'll be doing much between now and the end of August. So this is gonna be the year that time forgot. And if that's okay with me, if I have to, I'm gonna paint a lot. The reason I, lo I love painting to begin with, and I've been working really hard on this army, as you can see, it's coming along already. I love painting these guys. These are probably one of my favorite 
army I've painted so far. And the, using the contrast paints have been actually a lot of fun. I'm not painting entirely using contrast paints, but I am really enjoying it. it saves a lot of time. And it looks good. It looks decent, you know. As you can see the guy in the background, I think this is a tournament army. I bring this to an event and not uh, feel bad about it. And yeah, I like it a lot. So, my soft goal is the end of August for this army. My big question in my head is, I believe the next book is going to be announced this weekend. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they already said that on the Warhammer community page. And the next set of models is going to come out for uh, one of my armies, Admech, which I just finished painting before this army. So that's the big question is now what do I do? Do I turn around and go back to the army I just finished painting for a couple weeks and get some new models painted? Or do I keep going forward with this army and get these guys all painted before going back to Gene Steeler, uh, sorry, to, um, to Admech? That's the question. I haven't decided yet. To be honest, I'm uh, just going to play it by ear. I, I might pick up the models regardless. I might not. Because I'm going to guess they're going to be good and fun. I love the the new guys with the, the wings have some cool flamers. They're 12-inch flamers, I believe, according to the previews. And they're pretty cool. They'd be handy, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. As I said, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I haven't decided yet because I might decide just to save a little money and not pick up the new models. But I really like the look of them. Maybe wait until these guys are all done. Then go back and paint them. But, uh, you know, waiting four months isn't too bad. Of a, of a, of a, um, waiting. You know, I've waited years to paint these guys. Then paint them up. Also, that point, of course, as you know, the big announcement last week, last weekend, was the new edition which was really cool. Um, GW went big with their announcements last weekend. So, some new Primaris Marines. Tons of awesome new Necron models. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The new Necron models look amazing. Um, yeah, they really look awesome. Wow, GW really outdid themselves. G, you know, a lot of the Necron models are really outdated. The troops choices, I believe, are like 10 years old. The, a lot of them are the last, you know, five or five years old, I'm guessing, six, seven years old. Um, yeah, wow. This is before I worked at games, uh, sorry, at um, Mini Wargaming. Most of the models came out. I had them, I had painting tutorials on my channel before they came out. No, sorry, not before they came out, before I worked for Mini Wargaming. So, a long time ago. Um, and so I'm really happy that they're updating the line. I, I am a little concerned for Necrons. You know, if you look historically, the first army of each edition tends to be the weakest. But that may not happen in this one, maybe not. Because the models are so cool, maybe they'll have insane rules to go along with them. So that way, you know, we can... Uh, you know, they'll, they'll stay, you know, but Grey Knights, oh my goodness. But it does, maybe, maybe Games Workshop is really changing this edition's, um, the way that they're doing the big updates to the Codex. You know, because the last, the last edition really seemed like most armies that weren't Primaris Marines or, you know, Space Marine, uh, well, even Grey Knights. Grey Knights got really the same, this treatment, that most armies just got a simple update a bunch of models got removed, they got some new rules, right? 
like Admech, I don't think Admech got any new models yet until the, this, these uh, supplements, this edition. Uh, nope, I don't think so. Right? Grey Knights, same thing. A lot, most armies just got like, hey, this is the new rules, here's the new stratagems, warlord traits, um, points costs. Cool. Right? They didn't get, they didn't get um, a bunch of new models. And that's what the Necrons are getting. So maybe that is the, the maybe that's the tone of the entire. I love the look of these guys. They just look so cool. Um, so maybe that's going to be the tone of this codex. You know, maybe that's it. Maybe a, or sorry, not codex. This edition, where a bunch of new models are going to come out for each army. So I'm going to take some Reckless Flesh Shade and shade all these models. So I have a total of. Uh, 20 right now that I'm working on. Uh, 20 acolytes. And then, oh, sorry, so 22 technically. Is, well, not technically. 22. Because I'm working on uh, 20 acolytes and uh, two acolyte uh, icon wards. Cool. One note. All done. There are a couple of ones that are more advanced because these were the ones I was testing out color schemes on months and months ago last summer, basically when the contrast paints came out. Um, but I painted non-metallic metal on them. Not a big fan of the non-metallic metal look from these paints. So I decided I'm going to go back on these guys and paint the leathers and some silvers and bronzes. It'll really um, complete the models I found. So it'll, it'll make them look awesome. And yeah, I love painting with the contrast paints. So this is the colors are beautiful. Especially that, that Tur that turquoise color that I'm using on these parts. I love it. That's the Achillean green, I believe. Achillean green. So, it's beautiful. Um, this shading step won't take me very long. So then while the shade is dried, I, I probably will just start on the silvers. Since I can paint a very large amount of silver that is not touching this It's not touching the others, but uh, it's cool. As you can see, they're coming to life. They're really just looking cool. And I, that's what I love about the, it's cool. I don't usually paint white, I sorry, prime white. I don't usually prime white. As you can see, I don't usually, prime white to me is weird, but uh, it's been fun on these guys. Painting with the contrast paints and I'm gonna stop here for a second and do the, the leather straps on them. But it's been yeah, really fun. And I don't care that by the time I play with this army, they're gonna not be as competitive as they once were. That Space Marines will eat them for breakfast. I don't care. They look awesome. And I'm excited to have this guy on the tabletop. They look so cool. So cool. Yeah. You know, I've been playing long enough that armies will come and go into competitiveness. As I said, orcs, oh my goodness, orcs spent years being like the worst of the worst. Not the, well, maybe not the worst, but pretty bad. I'll still play them any day of the week. But these, I'm really loving the look. They're making me so happy. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I got a hand strap too. Yeah, the new Necro models. There's the, uh, the Throne of the Silent King. 
it looks like, or the Silent King model, I guess. It looks really cool. There's some new destroyers they look like that are huge and menacing. There are, there we go, just a bunch of new awesome looking models. So the Necron players out there are going to have a big treat on their hands. Uh, will I buy some? Mm, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe I have time to get back into making a tutorial or two. That'd be cool. But uh, I don't, I don't really have an urge. I do, well sorry, I have a Necron army. And uh, yeah. But I just, look, like, all those new models combined are going to cost, like, four or five hundred dollars. Maybe we'll see. It's not the time to be spending that kind of excess money right now in the middle of this pandemic. I say as I paint 40, you know, 20 models. Most of these were came from, like, you secondhand or uh, star collecting sets. I did buy a couple star collecting sets because the value is really there, you know. For like just under hundred bucks, I can get a star collecting set. The same cost as like two of the Ridge Runners. I get a Ridge Runner in there, so I also get five acolytes, ten neophytes, and a uh, an icon ward. I'm already back to the icon ward. See. We're 15 minutes in, and the leather is going to be drying. Cool. <laughs> yeah, the new Necro models are cool. And we've gotten like a little taste of the new rules. Uh, so far I like most what I hear. Uh, the tank one kind of concerns me that tanks can fire in combat. Because that's a good way of slowing down tanks. And it's also a way of balancing close combat, but we'll see. Maybe it won't be as overpowered as we think, but uh, ooh, that's pretty dangerous. I like the fact that terrain will be a focus because we all know terrain has been kind of forgotten in this edition. In my opinion, it's not very useful. You know, depending on what army you're playing and playing against, you might might as well just play on a barren um, field. Though the one thing that really bugs me is, of course, that like I'm hoping one of the things I really do hope they fix, but I'm guessing they're not going to fix, is monster creatures and vehicles and all that stuff. And terrain, I'm hoping that they fix that, because that's one of my biggest pet peeves of this current edition. Uh, we'll see. The floor is lava rule, I call it. Right? You're playing against an old biker list or something, you go, oh, I'm going to hide one inch off the ground. You can't touch me. In close combat. Right? Or monstrous creatures. You can stare down a carnifex by standing two inches off the ground. So as you see right now, I'm going to paint some true silvers, which look so much better. True silver, right? Non-metallic metal. I like this silver. It looks just so much better. Um, yeah, the floor is lava roll. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I'm really hoping they fix that. Because it just, oh my gosh, it's such a, an annoying game when you can't reach your opponent because they stand an inch off the ground doesn't make any sense a carnifex should be able to swing and hit something they're very big arms and like a why can an imperial knight not attack a guy who's an inch off the ground doesn't make any sense right so i'm hoping that's one of the things i really hope that that gets fixed i am really hoping that gets fixed because you met it they shouldn't make it as safe. You can't just camp out. That's the only thing that, way that terrain usually interacts with the game. Is that just prevents 
Oh, you have a Carnifex. Okay, I'm going to stand here. As you can see, I am clearly two inches off the ground. And therefore, your close combat Carnifex can never reach me. Bye-bye. Yeah. We'll see. There we go. Look at that. These ones are the ones that are almost done. Basically, I've seen, I've already based them. I might re-dry brush the base. Um, but they'll be pretty much done. Almost done today, pretty much, right? Because, you know, all I have left after the silver and brass for the other guys is the eyes and then the small details on the, uh, like the, the unique models, the, uh, the chain, uh, sorry, the, um, the close combat weapon guys, they, um, you know, so just some, the, the details on them, but my goal is to have this done obviously before next week's painting with Jay, because that'll be the Brew Brothers, and life will be good. There we go. Another one down. But I'm just not a fan of that. Yeah, the non-metallic metal look. I tried it. This was my big test model for the working with the contrast paints and this this color scheme. And I liked it. You know what? I liked it. most things about it. I'm not the biggest fan of the non-metallic metal look. It's just it is very simple, right? You just hit with that the gray or the black. But uh, now I just want true metallics on these guys because it just looked a little bit better. It added a little bit of time to the painting process, but as you can see, I'm painting during a pandemic and Canada is not going to be, like Ontario is not gonna reopen fully anytime soon, which sucks. I really do miss playing games against my friends, Dave and Stu. Hope they're both okay. And uh, I can't wait. Can't wait to play because they're going to have a bunch of uh, new models to face. My Admech army, my Gene Stealer Cult army, my Imperial Knights. I think I've gotten them all painted since I've last seen Dave and Stu. And of course, the, t the world has stood still. Oh, whatever. And that's cool. That's one of the reasons why, again, I'm painting so much because I'm taking advantage of these times, right? I'm just going to switch brushes for a second to get a little detail in there. But uh, I'm taking advantage of the fact that right now we can't do much in, in Canada, right? So I am going to paint. I'm going to get as many Gene Steeler cult models painted as I can in the meantime. Because when I, I do know when the world, or at least my world, returns closer, I don't think, to be honest, I don't think it's ever going to go back to exactly the way it was. I think this situation has awoken a lot of things in society, and uh, I don't think certain businesses will ever be the same. To be honest, I don't think my job will ever be the same. Uh, I don't think a lot of jobs will ever be the same. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, yeah, well, so when, when things return to what they, so close with they do, like when I can go and play games against my friends, uh, do a tournament or an event, which there should be some in the area, there's already one planned in the area. So now I'm, I'm into the guys that I've not painted any metallics on, which you can see. Um, there are a couple events, uh, right now planned my, my, one of the guys in my gaming group named Ian hosts a really amazing event each year. It's kind of like a tournament, but it's more just playing a couple of games, axe throwing, good food, right? Prizes are okay. I don't really go for the prizes anyway. Uh, prizes are cool and you know, what? cool. And that's being, there's currently, it, it's in the works, but I'm not going to go unless the, unless, you know, the cases of COVID in this area are down because I'm not going to expose myself unnecessarily. I don't think any of my gamer friends are sick at the moment, but you know what I mean? It's, it's a very hard situation to social distance. 
since you'd have to, unless you're standing exactly at opposite sides of the table. And it would, yeah, very interesting. We'll see. We'll see if, 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 the, if we're back to quasi normal at that point, I will probably do it because I really just want to get in some games with some people and have some fun. But uh, we'll see. I really just want to play some games, basically, and really want to play a game. I want to play a game. No. By that point, maybe the next edition will be out. We'll see. But the main fo thing was I was saying was obviously when I get when we return closer back to normal, I'm gonna want to go outside. I do go outside a bit every now and then, every day as well. I go for walks, but I want to go hiking. I want to go. I want to take my girlfriend to the beach. Because she really, you know, wants to be there. Mm -hmm. And I really want to do stuff. And so by getting all this painting now, when society ever returns to a, a normalness, I've used this time to the best that I can. I would have a probably close to a fully painted army at that point, depending on how long it takes. Maybe I'm doubting it's going to be for another month at least. To be honest, I doubt it. Uh, like in Ontario, you know, they've been relaxing certain rules, and of course it's been spiking because everyone's just sharing germs. But, so, you know, another month from now, I'll have all my troops done. I'll have probably a couple more HQs done. Um, we'll see. But my goal is four months into this army, if it even takes that long. It may not even take that long. Because, I probably will. We'll see. Depends on how much time I get in with painting. Um, I have 121 models right now that are Gene Sir cults, but they range anywhere from, you know, like one's a shadow sword that I'm going to use in formations. And, uh, like that's a huge model, obviously. Of course, I'm going to use an airbrush for that one. But, um, I have 121 models, I believe. I counted it the other day. And after this week, I'm hoping to have, uh, 72 completed and based. 72 after a month so that's not bad now I know I'm not going to paint the other remaining 50 models next month because the Brood Brothers that I'm going to paint next week are going to be easy they're going to be easy they're just you know batch painting um, the rest are going to be a little more difficult because they have a lot more detail like, I have to paint two um, Broodlords. I keep calling him Broodlords because he's the Broodlord. He's the leader of the Brood Coven. He's the Patriarch, I know that's the real term for it, but I call him Broodlords. So I have to paint three, pa two Patriarchs. Um, the detail, I have a couple of the uh, character elites. I have three of them. You know, so I have I have some some characters ahead of me now. I can probably paint maybe one or two of them at a time together. Batch paint them too because it's going to be very similar colors to what I'm using. But uh, we'll see. As I said, I'm just going to paint them. You know, it actually would be kind of cool to see how long it would take a single model with my um, just constantly painting with these contrast paints. Uh, some of them don't have any metallics on them and very little silver or brass, so I will, pr I could probably knit one a night soon. But yeah, I'm just trying to get as much done while I can because I can say that I use this time to my advantage because uh, obviously I, I've been spending, I, I have a really good, I have this kind of down to it, my day down to an art. I paint a, for about half an hour before I go to work. I paint for a little bit at night Usually adds up to about an hour to an hour and a half a night, um, sort of day, 
make a total in the day. I spend a, little, a bit of day with my girlfriend, of course. We do things, you know, we have dinner together. We usually go for a walk and relax. And, and then I paint for a little bit. She goes to bed slightly before me. And usually. But uh, and I'm going to get this set. I'm going to get this army painted. It's going to look awesome. And so, because you can't paint and play at the same time. And I, by the time the next edition comes over, I'll have plenty of options for my troops choices, I'll have plenty of options for my game, and I'll have plenty of uh, armies. This edition, I'm not gonna buy a lot of new models. I'm gonna say that. Now, of course, that's a foolish thing to say, but I've also said, you know what, I've had this fool's, people say a fool's errand in front of me that I'm, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> so, people keep saying to me that, you know, saying that you're gonna paint all your models is a foolish thing to say. And, Honestly, I see the complete light at the end of the tunnel. You know me, I have tons of models. And I've been painting them hardcore. I, you know, I've painted this year already a full army. And I'm going to keep going until these guys are done. I am going to keep going. But after this army, there's really not a whole lot left in my Games Workshop collection. Um, you know. There's not. I have a few gray knights. Uh, gray knights, yeah. That'll be my last army that I finish up on, and that's really it. Then, if I want a new model, I can go out and buy it, assemble it, paint it. No guilt. No delay. But uh, I have so many new models that I just really want to play and try out. It's going to be a while. You know, I don't see myself playing Necrons immediately when the Codex comes out. I'll, maybe I'll try them out and have some fun. But um, I really want to try these guys out. Give them a fair shake. Try them in a couple tournaments. Try Admech in a couple tournaments. I don't care if I win or lose. I just want to. I've been working on these models, making them look awesome. I really want to get them onto the tabletop. That's where they belong, right? And I hope that you out there in internet land are staying healthy and safe right now. It's really interesting times that we're in. And I know sometimes it gets difficult, but, uh, It'll pass. The key is right now stay healthy and safe and survive. Yeah. I'm going to uh, paint some brass onto this thing as well. A little later. I'm going to break up the silvers with brass. But since I'm going with a more basic color scheme, I can kind of paint the majority of the saw silver. All good. And his little mask. Let's paint his mask and the things. And let's go switch brushes for a sec. I love the basing as well. I'm really having fun with these textured paints. They've been fun. I'm... Uh, yeah. I know for like a huge army, I'm, it's I, so far I've gone through one paint pot. So I've spent about eight bucks. And I've based uh, 50, 55 models. 40 of them are small bases. So the next batch will be primarily medium bases and larger bases. So if I have two more right now and if I need to buy another one, cool. But I like it. 
just literally paint it on, let it dry, and then um, do a quick highlight. And there you're good. You're good to go, right? It's pretty cool. It's not too hard of a process. I usually, you know, paint sand on, or sorry, glue sand on, paint it black, highlight it up. It's been a lot of fun. And it doesn't look bad at all. I really like the look of the of the stone bases that I've been painting up. Not the stone, uh, the, the gravelly, you know, debris bases. That for these guys, it really fits. And I like it. So, who cares? It's been cool. As you see the guys in the background, they look pretty cool. I think they'll look good in a battle report or video. People ask me, am I gonna film any more painting tutorials and battle reports in the near future? I say possibly. You know, I still use my channel every now and then, as you guys know. I mostly just do painting with Jays because that's really where my focus has been. Also, you can't film a battle report by yourself. Well, I've done it before, but still, it's not as fun. Um, you know, uh, maybe. I do find that right now it's just um, maybe next edition. I'll wait and film some stuff. Uh, a lot of people are the thing is these days everyone makes battle reports some of them are better than mine some of them are worse but uh, it's hard because now that everyone you know back when I started making YouTube videos one of the reasons why I was able to take off slightly was there weren't a lot of people doing what I'm doing and dedicating the amount of time especially one man teams like me right but it's hard being a one man team sometimes and the teams that are more than one man you do have a distinct advantage because if you're more than one man team, or one person team, because obviously there are women doing so too, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. One person team, um, you can do videos whenever you want. Like you film a battle report. Dave's, Dave from Mini Wargaming is at home with his wife filming battle reports. And I could get my girlfriend involved or something, but that's okay. Um, but that's it, right? You just, it's tougher. So I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm enjoying it, I'm painting and playing. I'm using a lot of silver, but that's okay. Right now I'm, I'm up down, up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm halfway through my army, sorry, my acolytes here with silver. The icon wards going to be a lot more silver paint. Mm -hmm. Look at him. That looks, these guys have so much character. I love them. It's a cool looking model. I don't care. They're not the most competitive. These guys are pretty fun. They look really cool. That's why I want to play them. More silver. More silver. I just got silver on my finger. <laughs> I really miss baseball. Apparently they're thinking starting the season. I miss hockey. Playoffs should have been almost done. They are doing some weird plans, like a 2014 playoff that hasn't started yet. It'll be more like a mini tournament. They haven't decided where it's going to be yet. Let's see. Yeah. We'll have to see there. I do miss hockey. This is the time of playoffs, right? Not the biggest basketball fan, but uh, I want to see what the Raptors do this year. Remember, we are the defending NBA champions. A team from Canada.
cool stuff. Oh yeah. Team from Canada. This shows, yeah. Might as well paint. There's no sports or anything on TV. Paint, All right? So after this, yes, yeah, so I have a few more colors to do. I have the eyes, I have the um, brass eyes, details on the things, on the guys that are like uh, this guy, for example, I'll finish up the, the saw. Definitely want to have these done before next painting with Jay. And in the end, we did a few painting with Jays this month. I think three or four. Three or four. Not bad. But as you can see, I'm painting. I'm uh, really. Just want to get these done. And I'm excited to get them. Said, not having many boxes in my workshop is going to feel fantastic. Then I'll start spending all my money on battle foam <laughs> and protective uh, foam cases in case I ever need to transport these models. Yeah. There's so many ways in the hobby to spend money. Not on the supplies or the models, protective equipment. Mm -hmm. The new Primaris guys look pretty cool. Again, I don't know how quick I will to buy them because I have a bunch of Primaris models already. And uh, yeah. The close combat guys are pretty cool, but yeah. And uh, that new HQ looks really nice. I liked him. I don't know his name is. The guy carrying the square ended sword. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah, in focus. It should be in focus. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Adjust the light. Cool. I'm painting at night. So, yeah. As I said. <laughs> oh, this guy looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. So the models have such character to them. Love them. That's awesome stuff. Let's keep going. Oops, sorry. Come on. We're about 45 minutes in. So we have another 10 or so minutes. A little tired. It's getting late at night. But, uh, as I said, just get as much done tonight as I can. Hit them with a the shade tomorrow and highlight up the leather and the silvers. weapon as I said primarily silver I'll highlight up the silver and then paint some areas brass to break it up paint the wiring 
uh, maybe red or something. slapping paint on it. That's okay. As I said, I wonder how the world has changed in some places. Certain countries have, I think, learned more from others and learned more than others. We'll see. <laughs> My back is actually just starting to act up. So maybe, let's see, maybe I'll finish up after this guy. brushes so I can get more fine detail. Not doing too badly on the silvers. I'm uh, done but it doesn't. So not too bad. Maybe if I have maybe if I have time I'll do one more painting with Jay this weekend. And finish up these. Make one more videos I'm working on. And I know people just keep saying, you know, keep making pain with Jays. They're easy to make. And uh, we just, it's something to motivate us all. And so, I know a lot of people just like to listen to it in the background. Which is cool. Just while they're painting. This painting is a solitary hobby for most people. For me, it is. And we paint together. We're in a world of unpainted models, right? I hope that you out there in internet land are starting to see it. See the fruits of your labor. Starting to see a bunch of empty space on shelves that used to contain a bunch of boxes. You know? <laughs> cool. Another one down. All right, let's keep going for a sec. <laughs> As you can see, there's just so much character in these models that look awesome. I'm really excited to paint some, uh, what are they called? The, the jackals, the, the Talon jackals, the bikers. I have a, I think I have three boxes of them that I purchased. So, 15 of them. They are gonna be fun. After this, I have a few, so yeah, I have um, the Brew Brothers, so ten, squad of 10 Brew Brothers. I have, um, I think, five more HQs to paint. An Abominant included. Abominant, Patriarch, um, the Psyker, the generic guy. That make up the collective brood coven. Um, so I have two patriarchs to paint up. And then their little familials, familiars or familials. Um, for elites, I have 10 abominant, uh, sorry, 10 aberrants, which I'll probably just paint at the same time as the abominant, batch paint them all. Because the Abominant is just a bigger Aberrant. The Aberrant's got a big nerf in Chapter Approved this year because they got a huge point increase. But uh, who cares, I'll still have fun with them. Try them out. They look really cool. And... <laughs> so those guys... The elites, I have the, yeah, so I have the aberrants, I have a clamavis, um, a nexos, and the gunslinger guy. I always forget his name. Um, the gun, 
gunslinger. The guy with the three pistols. He's pretty cool. So I have three elite characters to paint. For fast attack, I have a sentinel. I haven't decided which one I'm going to paint him as. I'll just airbrush him, get him an army camel pattern. Um, a the uh, the bikers, and I have two ridge runners. So as you can see, I'm getting all the little guys out of the way quickly. The vehicles are going to take a while. Now most of them, are gonna, I'm just I'm going to airbrush most of it, um, which will be fun. I won't be able to do a lot of painting with J's unless I'm painting the fine details of them. But I'll figure out when I can, you know, get that get them done during, you know, every week I'll film so I paint a J working on them. The other option is just every week I work slowly on a group of models while like only for a painting with J. That was the other option. I've thought about that recently. So if I get into a point where I don't have a lot of things to do during painting with Jay, like if I'm just airbrushing for hours on end, I could stop, switch squads, paint them up only during a painting with Jay, and that way I can still produce a painting with Jay with you guys and girls, and still get stuff done. As long as I have my hand on, in, on a brush and painting a model, right? That's all that matters. I'm working towards my goal. It's just that I'm breaking up and painting multiple squads or something. For the heavy support right now, for these guys, I have, what I have? I have uh, two Lehman Russes and one uh, Rock Rider. And then for the super heavies, I have a Shadow Sword that I'm working on. I've used the Shadow Sword in a bunch of tutorials in the past. I think they were, I don't remember if they were the airbrush ones or the non-airbrush ones. So I'm gonna have to repaint it all in one color scheme, which is cool, I'll gladly do that. And get that done, cool. So my back is really starting to hurt. So I'm gonna end up to this guy. This guy will be the last one of the night. But in the end, you know what? I got the uh, leather areas finished and I've painted, I don't know, five, 10, 12, 15, 15 silvers. So that's a very good dent in this army. And we'll see what happens either, um, as I said, I'll either finish them up and get up building the Brood Brothers for next week's Painting with Jay, or I'll, I'll make, film one last Painting with Jay, putting the details on these guys, because I think I can make another video. I can definitely paint them for another hour. I think I have another probably two or three hours left of painting them. So we'll end here. So that concludes another Painting with Jay. I uh, got some stuff done. I'm pr pretty happy with my progress and I'm gonna keep going with these these uh, acolytes. They're really cool and I can't wait to get them all finished up and on the tabletop and just kicking butt in games and battle reports and having fun. Exactly. I really hope you're staying healthy and safe as I keep saying and I really hope your lives are okay. You know, that you're, you're, that you're embracing uh, those around you in these tough times and that we're all getting through this together. That you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel as well regarding your paint tasks. Uh, that way when life returns to normal, we can have some fun, right? And uh, not that painting is not fun, but I'm, we can do things outside and with those we love. And uh, we'll have a bunch of painted models already waiting for us to play. And we can also play, which is cool. So as always, this video is brought to you by, by my Patreon campaign. Link in the description below if you want to help support my videos. It's because of them that I can keep making these videos. And stay tuned for more Painting with Jay. I'm going to keep painting away on these armies for the next you know three plus months. And get it done. It's, you know, that's it. Get her done. So stay tuned for more Painting with Jay. It's Lexon. This is Jay saying, happy painting.